Hello YouTube and welcome to my out in the field update of my review on the Uberti Colt Navy replica. I did a video on this earlier, it was kind of an unboxing and I went over uh, my initial thoughts on the gun and now I have about a hundred hundred shots through it and I wanted to give an update. I am on site in beautiful Northern California I don't want to say exactly where I'm at because this is my favorite secret camping spot and I don't want to give that up. Some of you may recognize it. I'll give you a hint. There's my canoe down there and that is absolutely necessary to get where I'm at. There is no other way. But anyway, I have shot this quite a bit this weekend and it is extremely dirty. I've done my best to clean it out here in the field, but there's a good chance I'm not going to get through these six shots uh, without some sort of uh, jam or foul because it is so filthy. That said, um, I've been having a lot of fun with this. It is by no means a self-defense weapon. I've hardly gotten through six rounds without having some kind of jamming or fouling, but I think that has a lot to do with the caps that I'm using. I think they're a little bit too big and they don't fit on there properly. And another thing is the factory nipples are a little bit narrow on the inside and they foul quickly. So I've been looking at other YouTube videos and I've seen some um, people that are more into this than I am say that you need to put aftermarket nipples on there and I think that'll be the next thing I do. I have this all loaded up ready to go so let's make some smoke. There's not another soul on this lake besides uh, my camping friend, so we can go ahead and just pop some off into the lake. We're not in danger of hurting anybody. And we've got a hang fire, which is going to hold on for a minute, make sure it doesn't go. And again, I think that's from the poorly fitting nipples, or I'm sorry, the poorly fitting caps. We'll just hold that for a couple of seconds. This thing is so filthy, I don't think that the hammer is dropping all the way down onto the caps, and the cap's not fitting. It's just kind of adding up to uh, not being very reliable. However, when it is working, I can tell you that it's a lot of fun. Try that first one that didn't go off again. There, now the cap was seated by the first time the hammer struck it. And this should be the last one. Hopefully it goes off. There we go. So we got all six rounds through it. Overall, I am extremely pleased with the gun. I think it was an excellent buy for the money. Uh, I think I have a few things that I'm going to do to it to make it a little bit more reliable. Uh, one of which being the nipples, and the second of which being experimenting with different caps until I find ones that I'm happy with. Uh, but that was uh, 20 grains of Pyrodex Triple FG equivalent. It's a little bit easier to get here in California than real black powder. And uh, those were CCI number 11 caps. And they're just a little bit big for this. But anyway, um, if you're thinking about getting one of these, I'd highly recommend it. It's a great camping gun, and we've been having a tremendous time with it. That's all I've got for today. Thanks a lot.